Hey everyone, Joey here, and guess what? Week six of The Masked Singer is now over, and we got it right again. I want to thank you guys for joining me every single week as we go through these videos. Now, there will be a lot of spoilers in this because uh, that's kind of what we do. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. Let's get started. Now, for those who haven't been to our channel yet, this is what we wind up doing. For those who don't know, I'm an executive audio producer and it's my job to find bad audio and make it sound good. Well, in this show from the very first week, we saw that the clue videos include clues in celebrity voices, but those voices are sped up and pitched up so you don't know who it is. And I took this opportunity to slow it down and pitch correct it so that we can listen to the celebrity and kind of match it to whatever celebrity we think that the clues add up to be. And so far, we are six for six. We've been knocking it out of this park. And for those who don't know yet, ready for this, ready for this, the unmasked singer this week was the Raven, and it was Ricky Lake. Now, we did a whole video unmasking the Raven to be Ricky Lake. I could put it up here or here, wherever it goes. I don't know where they put it these days. Uh, but just for you guys, let's go ahead and play the audio. I'll play the pitched up audio that they play on the show versus the pitch correct audio and then probably something from your interview so that way you can kind of see who it is. So here is the audio. Being in this competition has challenged me to go against all my basic instincts. Especially having to be silent after making a career of talking to people. Yet being alone with my thoughts has given me a chance to think about my own story. Here's the pitch corrected audio. Being in this competition has challenged me to go against all my basic instincts. Especially having to be silent after making a career of talking to people. Yet being alone with my thoughts has given me a chance to think about my own story. And now here's audio from an interview she did a couple weeks ago. But it was a dream come true for me. I mean, I was so starstruck. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I got to sing, dance, tap dance, make out with Christian Slater. Like all of it in one number. So as you can see, our madness here is working out. Now that leaves us with three other contestants who were not unmasked this week. And just to kind of keep this thing going, I took the clue video, it was probably about eight to 10 seconds of them, and I went ahead and pitch corrected it and slowed it down so that we can guess as a group who we think it is. Now I'll go ahead and play them for you now, and uh, I want you guys to guess as the video is going on in the comment section. I've been performing for a long time, and I thought I'd done it all in my career. But dressing as an insect is definitely a first for me. During my last performance, the panel giving my voice some love went a long way to healing a deep wound. But like everyone else, I've had my share of dark days. But I'm a fighter. I fought my demons. Being behind a mask has been very strange and very lonely. Let me tell you, like before my last performance, I was standing all alone getting ready and I couldn't even talk to the crew because I had to remain anonymous. Without this mask, everyone recognizes me and they want to chat. So who do you guys think they are? I mean, for Monster, I gotta, I mean, for Monster, the Bee and the Peacock, I'm, I'm pretty confident we know who they are. I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, we'll put up videos though. We actually did reveal who the monster is. I could put that up here or there. Um, but the peacock, it's pretty self-explanatory. Same with the bee. Now the bee did just perform something sometime this past week. Wink, wink, if you've watched the Super Bowl. Now to keep all of the audio on the same video, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up all the other audio from the remaining contestants. Here we go. I've been working my tail off to keep you guessing who I am and showing off my range as part of my master plan to throw you off. And tonight, I'm gonna try to confuse the panel again with some R&B. The last time I performed, Nicole wasn't impressed by my voice. But tonight, I'm here to prove that being on stage is my destiny. Now, who do you guys think they are? Any guesses? I mean, we have some good clue videos coming out on who we think they are. We did one for the lion, of course, and the raven, and the monster. Um, we're probably gonna do the rabbit next, because everyone really wants to know who the rabbit is, and I've got a lot of clues to indicate who it is. I mean, the guy, is, I mean, I'm in New York City, so I know a lot of stuff about Coney Island and Brooklyn, and so I know this guy. I, I know who he is. But anyway, you go ahead and comment below who you think everyone is. You can actually make a list and say, Peacock, this is who I think it is. The Bee, this is who I think it is. And then once you're done with that, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we are gonna put up probably, probably the Rabbits video next, probably on Friday. But uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I can't wait till next Wednesday. I'll talk to you later, see ya.